Yo, what is up, people? CirclePunk here, and today in this episode of Quick Tips, I'm bringing you Batman you Arkham City. Uh, this is going to be the, the challenge side, the the thing that Riddler freaking gives, so you have to do that to get the platinum. But uh, anyways, uh, in this video, I know a lot of people actually do have trouble with this part. Uh, me myself, I actually had trouble in it too. Not too long ago, I actually just platinum Arkham Asylum because I got used to the, the flow of it and how everything works now. So I'm, I'm going to do my best to give you guys some tips in this one. Uh, in this one, you'll see me... Uh, like The first round wasn't so good. Actually, the first round wasn't that bad. But the last round, you'll see where I really get like a high chain combo. But the only tip I can give is this: the, the padded guys and the titans use like don't instantly take them out well i know you can't instantly take out the titans but the padded guys don't instantly take them out because you can add their uh i guess their hit count to your combo i think they give you like maybe eight or nine so you can add that to your combo chain which is pretty sick because it makes like every point even that much more and also another thing that i had found out for me is usually i would just spam the punch button which is square or x on xbox and don't do that because if you do that, you'll actually miss your hits. You can actually take like a second just to look around and see who to hit next or when to, to counter. So that's like a really big key thing that I learned while playing because, man, I had the biggest trouble like trying to do the combos, especially on uh, Arkham City. I mean, uh, Asylum, where I had to get the 40, pl uh, 40 times combo. That one was freaking so irritating. But then once I got the hang of the combo, then it, it was actually pretty easy. I was like maxing out uh, probably like 60, 60 a, a map. So it was pretty cool. So just take your time, you know, and like always counter. Not, not like what I did there. I, I, I swear I, I pushed it, but I guess I, it didn't give it to me. But, uh, but uh, yeah, anyways, uh, just try to like take your time, you know. Don't rush it. If you rush it, then that's when your combo will fall or you'll just get hit. Because I know, like, before I would just get hit back to back if I miss one counter, like, three guys would hit me. So just, like, take a second, you know. And then use ones that give you, like, uh, I guess, invincibility. There's a, I forgot what it's called. I think, like, special takedown or something. When you get a times five or a times eight, if you haven't unlocked it yet, uh, you can take him down. It takes like maybe like right there that you're invincible. So you can get a chance to look around while he's doing the animation. So you won't be taken out. And also another thing I would say is the disarm and destroy. It's a uh, square and triangle on PlayStation and X and Y on Xbox. And what it does, it takes away their weapon and destroys it so they can't pick it up. Because usually like if you knock out a guy that's holding a knife, he'll drop it, but somebody else will pick it up after. So the, like even though the guy went down, the weapon is still there and it gets actually really annoying. Like for me, it was the door guys, the guys that hold the car door, because like you can't um, counter them, and you have to like circle XX them to actually get them down. It's pretty freaking annoying. But yeah, those are probably the only tips I can give you guys. Uh, just you take your time, do a pace, uh, use the special takedowns to give you more time to, I guess, uh, like how do you say? survey the room like you know like there's guys everywhere don't go for ground takedowns unless there's multiple ones down or there's one guy very far from you uh but yeah that's, that's probably all the advice i can give for you guys today uh also another thing i want to add on play to win walkthroughs i think one through five should be up right now so if you haven't had a chance go ahead and check it out uh, if you like what you see be sure to subscribe and uh yeah thanks a lot for watching well one more thing before we go uh Actually, I wanted to get like feedback on you guys. I don't know what game to do after Arkham City. Uh, should I do Arkham Asylum for play to win walkthroughs? Uh, should I just go uh, some other kind of game, like uh, maybe classic? So that was actually planning on doing classic games. Like I wanted to do Final Fantasy VII, but oh my god, that game is gonna take like over like a thousand videos because that game is so long. And then also there's some games coming out. Like I know uh, Resident Evil is going to be coming out in uh, October. And I want to do a walkthrough on that. I want to get the anthology version which gives you 1 through 6. Which is pretty crazy. Because <laughs> that's like 6 games for like 80 bucks. Which is pretty sick. So I'm probably going to pick that up. Do the Resident Evil uh, collection I guess. I would probably do 6 first just to see how it is. Because it's new. And uh, go from there. But... I do want feedback, let me know uh, what do you guys want to see, you know, any certain games you guys want to see or anything. And uh, yeah, alright, that's going to be all for today guys. Uh, I do thank you for watching, uh, if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. And uh, yeah, thanks again.